What's going on, everybody? You're tuned in to another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. What we do on this podcast is we do a brand new audio episode every single day and a new video four times a week, Monday through Thursdays. Now, here's what's crazy, man. We've gone over 190 days in a row. So if you get any value out of the content, you should probably subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell notification, and if you're on the podcast right now, subscribe to the podcast, leave a rating, leave a review so you don't miss another episode. Now, here's what I want to talk to you guys about, man. Uh, this is going to be a little motivational, a little bit of motivation, a little bit of positivity for you. Look, we have got to stop comparing ourselves. It's ridiculous, especially... In 2020, with the whole pandemic thing going on, with the whole, we're stuck at home, everybody, we're all driving ourselves crazy. I, I am too. I am too. Like, it was a mad year. It was weird. It's been a weird year. It's getting kind of better. I mean, it's, I don't know. But one of the biggest problems is that we are more stuck in our devices than ever because we're stuck at home and we can't see people as much. And I get that. Trust me. It doesn't help for you to compare yourself and your journey to somebody else's. It's not going to do anything good for you. Here's the thing. Even if your justification is, well, it kind of helps me gauge where I'm at to see where somebody else... No, it does not. Literally at all. Does not help anybody. Doesn't help you. Doesn't help them. The reason that it's so bad to compare yourself is because here's the fact logically think about this their progress does it have anything to do with your progress be honest with yourself does it have anything to do with your progress no does somebody else earning a certain amount of money affect the amount of money you earn no not at all it literally has nothing to do there they have nothing to do with each other the amount of, of clout that somebody else get it's just everybody's on their own their own journey Everybody's on completely separate journeys. And here's the other thing too. And I heard, uh, I heard Gary Vee talking about this to somebody. If you've got time to compare yourself and worry about what somebody else is doing, you're probably not going hard enough. And I can honestly attest to that. I can attest to that. I can attest to it because ever since I stopped comparing myself and I said, all right, take that brain power and just focus on other things, it's really helped. It and it's it, it it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy because you're like, well, you might not take hours. The problem is we take we think of quantity of time and not quality of time. We'll be like, well, I don't compare myself and sit sit in a chair for hours and just be like, hmm, you know, this, that, and the third, and I'm gonna write down everything they're doing that I'm not doing, and I'm gonna really spend quantities of time. It's not really that. I know you're not doing that, but it's that quality. It's, it's probably added up in a day. You'll probably spend, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to 120 seconds. That's not a lot of your day, but the problem is it's that quality. It's that, what is that doing to you? What is that doing to you? That little bit, that little 30 seconds that you spent comparing yourself to the Kardashians and to, you know what I'm saying, every other person, that's time, that's, that's going to mess up your energy. That's what it's going to do is it's going to mess up your energy and it's going to put you on the wrong track and it's going to make you feel bad about yourself and it's, you're just going to go, you're here, you're starting to think negative thoughts and you're here and you're here and you're here and you're here and it just, it's one thing after another and then boom, you're out. You're done and you're not productive and you hate yourself and you hate your life and blah, 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 all that stuff. It does nothing for us to compare ourselves. Work on your own stuff. Now, if you want to compare yourself to yourself, that might help, but even then, it's this whole comparison game is like you got to think bigger picture. Just think, what's it going to do for me to just focus on the present moment? Where am I right now? Where do I want to be? You know, I'm more focused on now and where I want to be, but I don't worry about the future. And I'm not saying, well, you know, Lil Pump is only 19 or 20 and he's already rich and I'm not. I'm 26. So, uh, my life is, n What? First of all, I have no idea what their, what that person, Lil Pump's actually doing. I'm like, what's wrong with him being rich? Him being rich doesn't hurt me. Him being rich doesn't make my chances of being rich lower. So why would I be mad about Lil Pump having clout and being rich? Good for him. Shout out to Lil Pump. You know what I mean? It's nothing wrong. 
The problem is, here's that problem, really, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little hard on you, but it's tough love. The real problem is, is you're not really doing the work, and rather than you doing the work, you're making an excuse, and you're saying, well, this person, this person, this person. And it's like, huh? If you were doing the work, you wouldn't be even talking about that person. The problem is you don't want to do the work. You don't really want to do the work. You think you're doing the work right now. You're not doing the work. Trust me. Because, like I said, and it's like Gary Vee said, and I wholeheartedly agree. If you're worrying about that person, and that thought even crosses your brain. I promise you. Comparison, and, and, and uh, yeah, I'm going to sound a little like I'm trying to be perfect. I'm not, but I'm going to sound like I'm trying to be. I haven't compared myself to someone in like two years. Sorry, I, I truly haven't. The thoughts don't even cross my mind. So if that thought even crosses into your brain, you are not in the right headspace and you're not doing the work. Straight up. And I know that that's tough to hear and I know it's not nice and I know it feels like if you really want to, here's how you compare yourself. If you're comparing yourself, you're not doing the right stuff. There's your comparison right there. There's your comparison. You should be like, damn, you should be comparing yourself to where you are now, to where you want to be. And where you should want to be is, I don't want to compare myself anymore. How do I get to that point in my life where I'm not comparing myself? That is what you can compare yourself to. That version of yourself where you're not comparing. I know it kind of sounds very meta, but that's what you should be trying to do. Stop comparing yourself. Stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. And look, you're watching my content right now. Shout out to you. I appreciate you. I don't think you should spend... I would love it if you, I just got a couple DMs from people who's like, I spent two hours watching your content. I spent three hours watching your content. Yo, I'm honored. I really hope that you don't just watch my content. I really hope that you take those same hours and actually apply it to what you're trying to do. Because just watching my content, look, shout out to you. Because if you watch my content, you're helping me. You're not helping yourself by watching my content. You're helping me. Which, yo, thanks for helping. Now get out there and go do something. Get in the studio, make some beats, write some lyrics, go work on your business, go do something for your marketing, go plan something out, go read a freaking book or something. Like, don't just watch Lazy the Gifted every day. I'm gonna be here every day. I'm gonna be here to help you. I'm gonna be here to be your best friend. I'm gonna be here to be your mentor virtually. But look, just having me be your mentor is not everything you need. And just having this free content is nowhere near enough to get you to that next point in your career. Now, if you do want that, if you want to get to that next point in your career, if you want to start like learning how to grow a fan base and learning how to actually get something out of your music, I offer something like that. You can get coached by me. All you have to do is book a 15 minute call. It's super easy. Click below in the description, book a 15 minute call. We can see if we're a good fit and I might be able to coach you. Otherwise, the free content's not going to be enough for you to really get to that next spot, all right? Hey, if you got any value out of the episode, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the podcast, share it with a friend. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube and hit that bell notification, all right? Thank you so much for watching and for listening and for tuning in, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace.